wrapping things up here. Wow, I like that. Um, and what we're going to be doing is including mini bands in this workout. Pull me down, Sunny. We're going to be including mini bands. So these are the rubber bands. These are the ones that are made of fabric. I love both for different reasons. So this one is awesome for upper body. can also be used for lower body. Um, and this one is amazing for lower body because it's so much thicker and wider. It's not going to roll up when you do things like squats or lunges. So you have a lot more freedom with this fabric one. Both of them are available on Amazon. Um, the brand that I use for this one is Perform Better. So I am really fresh. But there are tons and tons and tons of different brands. And then this one is Coupons, um, and I did get this off Amazon. So really, you have a lot of flexibility. And when you buy these, you're going to get them in a pack. So you can have light, medium, heavy resistance as we go. I'm using um, my blue one, which is heavy resistance. And then this one is uh, medium resistance, I'm pretty sure. So anyway. But I just want to show you guys the difference. But we're also going to be using dumbbells. So have a set of dumbbells out. I'm going to be using 15s today. I'm going to press go on the timer. Um, and also make sure you have your water. So as always, I'm providing modifications for you as we go. If you're pregnant or early postpartum and you need to watch that pour in pelvic floor, I've got you, girlfriend. Um, if I don't provide a modification for something that just isn't comfortable for you, feel free to modify. This is your workout. Go up, I'm just in it. I love that song. Okay, so I'm going to press go on our timer. It's okay if your kiddos are around. We can still get things done um, and feel really good. So go ahead and put one thing again on. Just put your knees. I'm going to show you this rubber one first. So above my knees right here. Now I want to make sure that my knees are going out in line with my toes. And then I'm going to stand back up. So you never want your knees going in like this, all right? Keep those shoulders down and back. We're warming up with some air squats. Inhale, exhale. You can come do squats with me, sure. So this mini band is adding resistance to your squats. I don't have any candy with me. Adding this resistance for you. Down and up. Remember, watch that self-talk. What are you telling yourself right now or throughout the day? It really makes a difference. And that. The red store? Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay, we're going to do another round of those squats. If you want to increase the mini band, so maybe go to a darker color, typically it's going to be heavier. Inhale, exhale. Or just stick with this one, that's totally fine. So this mini band wouldn't do well with things like lunges. Oh, that's when you're going to find that your mini band is moving all over the place and it's frustrating. Wow. Sorry. No, we don't get this. Press what? Yes. Oh, you can turn it off for me when we're all done. No, Remember, this is a 30 minute workout. I want to grab it. Come here. 10 minutes of abs at the end, so 40 minutes total.
we haven't gone to the red store yet, so we're going to have to wait. Duck. Inhale down. Try to keep as much weight as that front, on that front leg as you can. Feel that stretch. Push back up. Inhale. Exhale. Great job. Feels good to feel good. Perfect. Whew. Go ahead and switch sides now. That made me out of the way. Switch sides. So opposite foot in front. Shoulders are down and pull it back. Put that leg back into the side. Inhale, down for the lunge. Exhale, stand back up. Inhale, exhale. And up. Inhale, exhale up. Breathe through it. We're almost done. Just doing as many as you can. Getting our whole body working. I need my apple. You need an apple? Mm -hmm. Okay. Great job. So remember, I'm posting the four workouts in one stretch a week for you. We're going to church. We are going to go to church. But you can be stretching more. You can use that fifth day for a workout that maybe you really love or choose three rest days, either way. Um, I love active rest days. So going for a walk, going on a hike, a bike ride with the kids, just really like staying active and moving because a body at rest stays at rest, a body in motion stays in motion. What, Liam? I'm gonna go to the silo. The silo? Mm -hmm. Today is Sunday and the silo is closed. Inhale, Whew. exhale up. Great job. I need to wait to open. What? I need to wait to open. And, uh, wait for it to open? Yeah. It will be open tomorrow. And up. Uh, you got one more round. So yeah, this band is nice. For lower body movements, put arm to side squats. For glute thrusters, things like that because it's not gonna move. <sighs> inhale down, exhale up. Inhale and exhale. <sighs> Keep breathing. Remember, we never hold our breath. Inhale down, exhale up. This is something I can handle. I'm excited to meet my body right where it's at so I can get where I want to be. I'm working with my body. Inhale, exhale, and up. Great job. Whew, feeling it, right? Absolutely. Put your dumbbells down, take that knee back off. Whew, body weight. Take a drink. Now, I want you to come into a split stance. You're going to go down into a lunge with your hands at your sides. Inhale down, exhale, lift your arms up and over so you can turn to the opposite wall. Inhale, exhale, turn. Exhale up. Inhale, exhale. Great job. Just back and forth as many as you can. Focusing on connecting your core to help with your balance. Exhale up. And up 10 seconds. Keep your shoulders down and back. Turn your head. And that will really help with your balance. So remember this way. Our head's facing the heart. Eyes are facing that way. And then we're going to turn our head. And that's going to really help with your balance too. Now switching legs. How do you start on? Wow. Inhale down, exhale, switch. So you're kind of pivoting on your back heel. On your heel, pivot, pivot. Exhale up. You're almost done here. Breathing through it. 
Grab a drink. Flynn, no. 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 Flynn, no. We're going to move into some push ups. So if you're pregnant, Posh was trying to sit early postpartum. Go onto an elevated surface so you can use your couch or like this plank of wood right here, the mantle. You're going to push down onto it and push away. Inhale down, exhale up, down, head up. You can also do it against the wall or a little bit lower onto the couch. Full version into your push ups. Inhale, exhale. Belly buttons in towards the spine. Down and up. Just as many as you can. I feel like push ups have always been hard for me. Make sure you're not just moving your hips. Right here, you want to go all the way down, all the way back up. And that's a beautiful job. So again, a round of push-ups. You can choose, are you doing it on a wall, the couch, or on the ground? A great way to modify these, if you're trying to work towards full push-ups, is inhale down. Now drop to your knees and exhale, push up on your knees, back to a plank. Inhale, exhale, plank. Down, up, back to your plank. Or you can do your full ones. <laughs> Just because something's always been a little bit harder for you to do, like push ups for me, it doesn't mean you can't do it. It's okay to slow down, it's okay to be tired. We're not going to give up. Inhale, exhale, play. Oh, stretch that up a little bit. Great job. Perfect. Grab one dumbbell here. We're going to hold it up. Higher collarbones. Lift those elbows nice and high so you can better keep your chest up tall. Nice wide um, stance here. We're going to do sumo squat pulses. So see how my back is nice and straight. Chest is up tall. So I'm not bending down my chest. Staying up tall. You can go under me, sure. Mommy's going to sit down. You better watch out. Go jump down. I'm going to sit on you. Right here. To pulse it out. Watch out, Liam. Ouch. Watch out, please. Oh, my head. Okay, watch out, please. Thank you. Whew. My, my head. Remember, you should be able to lift your toes up towards the ceiling. Okay, rest. Nice deep breaths through your nose. What? Oh, yeah. I didn't tie it, that's why. Keep that chest up, I mean, chest up and weight is high up on your collarbones. Squat down and pulse it out. Little baby pulses. So you're not sitting at the bottom, you're not standing at the bottom. You're right in the middle of that range. Sorry. But I don't touch. Hey, just gotta leave it there. Okay, I'll talk soft. Sorry, sometimes mommy gets excited and I talk loud. Close it out. Breathing through it. Those legs are shaking. Is that better? Those too loud. Okay. Mommy's supposed to be able to talk though. Right? Almost done. And rest. Oh, stretch out those hamstrings if you just lean forward. Great job. Last round of pulses. Wide stance. Don't lose that many again, Liam. Hold on tight to it. Pulse it out. Wide stance in your legs. Beautiful job. Spine is straight, chest is open. Oh my gosh, my legs are shaking. Push through. You're almost done. Oh my gosh. Whew. Here we go. 10 seconds. You've got 10 seconds in you. This is something I can handle. I do the best I can. Three, two, one. Oh. 
Great job, and rest. Take a drink, I'm like dripping sweat at my elbows. <laughs> that song, left foot, right foot, left kick, is stuck in my head. <laughs> now, single arm, you're gonna squat down in a normal stance now. So, uh, your feet are about shoulder width apart, toes angled slightly outward to make sure that your knees can go in line with your toes. Exhale up. So bring the weight to your shoulder, press overhead, and back down to your squat. Exhale up and press. Inhale down, exhale up and press. Great job. As many as you can from the side. Spine stays straight, so you're bending in your legs, not in your back. Come up, press. Down, like press. And rest. Grab another drink. I feel like I didn't drink enough water this morning when I was getting my day started. Switch arms. Down to your squat. Exhale up to stand and press that weight overhead. Notice I'm not like this. Okay, so my ribs are over my pelvis, pelvis over ankles, and down, up. Press. Inhale, exhale, up and press. You're halfway through this workout before we do those 10 minutes of abs, okay? For some reason, it's so much easier for me to like say, okay, hit do this, and then only 10 minutes of abs. <laughs> Instead of thinking like 40 minutes total, I just think, here you are, yeah. 10 minutes of abs. <laughs> and for some reason in my head, I'm like, that's so much better. <laughs> um, but I was watching a, a, on social media yesterday, Instagram, I came across a reel, which, like, yeah, we all do. Down, but I like this one because he was talking about how, he was like, yeah, I just started applying the eh, might as well mindset he was talking about. And he was like, he usually had dishes in his room. And then he started saying, well, I'm going to the kitchen anyway. Eh, might as well bring the dishes. So it's like just a no big deal type thing. Because when you tell yourself, like, oh my god, I have to have all these dishes out of my room. It feels so hard. I remember doing that as like a teen. As a kid, keeping dishes in my room. Which we don't anymore. Except we drink this calming tea every night. <sighs> And for some time, I was really bad about just drinking it and leaving the cup on my nightstand instead of taking it to the kitchen. But I got a lot better at saying, like, well, I'm going to go to the kitchen anyway, like, fill my water or do something. So I just started taking the cups out. But it's sometimes it's that simple little shift in your language. And he was like, yeah, and it works for doing my laundry, too. You know, I said, um, eh, might as well. Oh, no, he said, okay. I have this basket on, you put it away, I'm gonna fold one shirt. And then he said, by the time he folded the one shirt, his brain was like, this is a task I can handle. So he would say, eh, might as well fold all of them. <laughs> so I love that, might as well mindset. I thought that was a really great way to put it. Inhale, exhale. And I bet you're already doing things like that on a daily basis. So now, Like, oh, where are you at getting groceries? Might as well fill up with gas, you know? So you're probably already doing things like that. You just need to apply it to the areas that you'd like to see improvement. Which lots of life is constantly improving. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna get our heart up for a minute. What I want you to do is scissor jacks. So to keep it modified, you're gonna cross over, open up, cross. Open, cross, open, right here. See how this has no impact in it because you're not jumping, there's no like pressure going down there. And you can better control your core. So if you're pregnant, you can hug your baby, keep them up and into you. If you're early postpartum, slow down, right? Full version, you're gonna hop and uh, cross over, open up for another hop, cross over the opposite side, open, cross, Open, cross, open. So next round, we'll 
speed up that full version. Or if you need to modify, keep it more slow and controlled with the modification to best protect your core and pelvic floor. Here we go. Press, open, press, open. Breathing through it. You're just doing as many as you can. You're not competing with me or anyone else. And you're not even competing with yourself. Right? You can challenge yourself, but also understand, like, no matter what, you're proud of you. You're doing the best you can. Breathe through it. Lift that pelvic floor. Cross up and cross up and keep kind of dance. Get it out. <laughs> Maybe not. Guys, if there's one thing. Loves it so much. Wow. 
and we called it Harley's birthday present. But he's all excited. He picked up blue pants, um, a polka dot bow tie, and a, and a normal tie, and then just got a white shirt. But, but anyway, I think it's sweet how <laughs> much she likes it. Okay, we're gonna really challenge ourselves here with some jumping lunges. To modify, come down to a reverse lunge, stand up, switch legs, stand up. Inhale, exhale. Notice when my left leg is forward, my right arm is forward. Stand, right leg forward, left arm forward. Stand. Okay, so that's your modification. Go to the toilet. Go to the toilet if you have to point. Okay, I have to wipe him, but <laughs> jumping lunges are right here. Staying wide on your toes. I'm coming. Go to the toilet and I'll come right now. Switch. Switch. So modify our full version. Give me 30 seconds. One more 
around with those RDLs. Inhale down, exhale up. Keep your ribs down, spine is in line. And up, inhale, exhale. Breathe through it. Give me 20 more seconds, as many as you can. Really working the back of the legs.
planks. If you need to modify um, a plank for pregnancy or postpartum, highly recommend that you do. Start with your knees in line with your hips, and then walk your hands out Ew. until you feel like you can't keep the core connected anymore. And go back a little bit and hold about there. So right here would be a great modification that you can do. I'm horsey. You can do this during pregnancy and postpartum. Just make sure you lift that pelvic floor. And if you're after bulging outward, modify to something like belly breathing or incorporate belly breathing into this. So inhale, exhale, bring the core up and into you. And then you would just push back to that inhale whenever you feel like you've lost connection. So incorporate belly breathing into everything that you do. Full version. Exhale up. Hands in line with the shoulders. Your elbow. Hands in line with the shoulders. Belly button's lifted towards the spine. This is my eyeball. That's his elbow. We're I almost got done. I got Ali one leg. Hold the muscles and pelvis up and into you. Sorry, I'm going. I'm going. And that church, okay? Yeah, we're going to go to church. Yeah. Keep the chin lift off the chest. This one? Just get it down your hands. Oh. Your elbow. This is my elbow. Yeah. Good job. One more round there. What's that third plank? This way. My dress is coming to my house. Exhale up. Lift the pelvic floor up and into you. Belly buttons towards the side. Mm -hmm. Come back and come out. Oh, taking small steps there through your diaphragm. So your core can stay connected for this. The muscles in your pelvis, so below your belly button, you should feel them. It's almost like feeling your hips, the muscles connected to your hips, coming up and into you. Hi, Yuki. I did a little. Hold, breathe through it.
gentle curve in the low spine. And then the rest of the back is pressed flat into the ground. And up. Inhale. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Great job. Almost done. Out. Feel that great connection. Pull it back up. Feel that great connection. Pull it back up.